Hi guys, this is Robert Clark from OmniTechNews.net and today we're going to be giving you my desk tour. So if you look on YouTube, you'll see that this is our number one most requested video of all time. If you look on our YouTube moderator on our YouTube channel, you'll see all the uh, suggestions and at the very top always you'll see uh, desk tours from every member of the Omnitech News crew. So I'm going to start it off by doing my desk tour. Um, so just before I start, this is the whole pan of my desk, just so you can see what I'm going to be giving you a tour of. So you get a feel for it. So this is my main area over here, which is where I do all my um, Omnitech News work, where my computer is, uh, where everything is like that, and this is the chair I use. So let's just start off on the very left. So here we have the Alienware M11X, um, very, very nice laptop, one of the best computers I've ever owned, serves me very well, and um, I can just quickly pull this off my desk when I don't want to sit at my desk and, you know, sit on the couch or something like that, and um, it actually has a pretty decent resolution screen, so I can get work done fairly well. And behind that is the left speaker for my... Uh, a Logitech Z4 speaker 2.1 system and above that is the Audio-Technica AT2020 with the um, PSA1 uh, mount I think it is, no the PSA1 filter and then the shock mount, I can't remember the exact model name for that and um, here's just a stand that it's on behind that have a little compact digital camera we have my sort of main uh, Canon camera for doing videos. I'm using the um, Canon Rebel T2i to record this video but on other days I'd be using that camera and just next to that is the remote and some gunner glasses which I reviewed in another video. So making our way along we've got a, um, a studio sound effects disc which I will be viewing very shortly. I apologize to the uh, company for not getting that out quick enough but it is very good product and I can't wait to show the review on that guys. All right, here we have a Dell monitor. I ultra sharp. I have no idea what the model is. Maybe we can find out. I think there's any way of knowing. Anyway, it's a Dell ultra sharp monitor. I can't remember the exact model, but it showed me well, very well. 24 inch. Here we have a 20 inch, or it might be a 22 inch. I'm not sure. 22 inch monitor, and I use these side by side. Very good pair. Here we have an Apple keyboard. Very nice keyboard. Even though I'm a Microsoft fanboy. I don't deny it, but uh, yeah, very nice keyboard. I use that as my main keyboard. Uh, my other keyboard broke. I was using a HP keyboard, wireless keyboard I did a review on, but it broke for me, so now I'm using this one. Right below that is the uh, Bamboo Pen and Touch Tablet, and I have a review on that also. Very, very useful if I'm doing some um, photography work for touching up photos. Here is the Microsoft Signwinder X8. Uh, here's the little charging thing that goes into it, and you just basically it just magnetics into there, and then it charges. But it is also wireless, so you can just take it out and use it like that. Here's the controller for the Logitech Z4 system. Um, right here's a Zoom HD dock, which I use to sync my Zoom HD. Here, my phone, HD2, HC HD2, very, very nice phone. I like it a lot, although I can't wait for Windows Phone 7. It's going to be pretty nice. Um, right here is a, a SanDisk ImageMate, I think it's like a 6, 5, and 1, something like that. And it's used for um, basically all of my media, being able to copy that across. Right here are all my SD cards. I have a lot of them, actually. There's a, there's a class 6 8 gig, there's a class 6 4 gig. If you're interested, there's like four other class 4 4 gigs, I think. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in there. <laughs> Very useful for shooting for long, long periods of time. Um, right here's the, as the monitor I mentioned earlier, the 20 inch one. Right here's the right speaker for the Z4 Logitech system. 
Right, here's a product that I'm going to be reviewing uh, just after I go to England, which is I'm going in in less than a week now. Very excited for that, and I'm going to be trying to do some interviews and videos in England. Right, here's the A Mod AGL 3080. Very, it's it's a, it's useful for this camera because it basically geotags all my photos, and with the new Flickr system and everything, that it's really useful. And right here, I know. It's kind of messed up on my desk, but uh, I'm working on a fix. I might just duct tape it across, but um, on the move from um, England to America, this part was severed or bitten. Not bit bitten, you know, but it was scraped and uh, it kind of broke a little. Uh, so back here we have the Astro. What is it? I, I got it at PAX. It's the Astro A. I think it's the. Ah uh, yes, the A40, A40 headset. Use when I'm editing. It's very useful to tell how everything's mixed up in Avid. Here's just a verbatim hard drive. I did a review on that. I can't remember the exact model of it, but it's 250 gigabytes. Here we have one of my favorite lenses. 70 to 200 f4 by Canon. Very, very nice lens. Must have if you're on a budget for a zoom lens. So uh, this part of, th basically that part is my main desk, and then this part, the, the sort of the more extension part, uh, this is what I use basically for Omnitech news reviews or homework or stuff like that, basically for anything um, like writing and Omnitech news reviews, yeah, just, yeah. Um, so here is a Audio-Technica microphone. This is a very cool microphone. It's just uh, great for interviews, but I'm also starting to use it for... Omnitech news reviews just in general so you've got some better sound than the built-in audio that you probably hear now. Right here's the Griffin elevator stand. Review is coming on this reasonably shortly and great when I want to uh, do some homework and I need to study for some notes on my computer because they tend to be digitized these days. As if I go back here again, got some spread discs, we have the Gamer Grub, awesome stuff. I'm going to do a review on that. Ah, uh, some notepads, um, notebooks, we've got a, uh, some business cards, if you ever see me, maybe at Gnome Dex, I'm going to be at Gnome Dex, uh, you'll see me with those and you can have one of those. Um, here's my fountain pen, I use this for basically all my writing. Right here we have just sort of my boxes and stuff, these aren't all of them, but I just have some of my main boxes up on my desk. CS4 Master Collection, HD2 and Zoom HD. My main boxes, and there's just a light, and I just have it there unless I'm actually writing something where I'd need it. Uh, I didn't mention right here is a Microsoft Arc mouse. I use this with my laptop, and I can pull it back all the way here. It's got a connector on the bottom. Plug it in. Works great. Highly recommend it. Uh, if you're traveling as well, it's going to be an awesome mouse for traveling. Although it's not good for gaming, <laughs> I have to say. Um, here is just a light, an IKEA light. Right here we have a just some pens and basically want like a cluttered mess of stationery right here. Inside here it's a tube full of memory sticks, memory items, stuff like that. Um, most last notable thing on my desk probably is this D-Link Gamer Lounge Wireless N router and no wait it's not a router it's just a hub for Ethernet ports. And um, we have three of those in this house because uh, we've got kind of thick walls and it doesn't always get through that well. Alright, here we just have some cleaner. I was using this pretty recently to clean off my desk. Uh, here's some more product reviews that are coming soon. Porter and Simplism and Verbatim. Carson will be doing a video on one of the Simplism cases. As you can see, here's a pan of it. Um, uh, we have the Zune HD pouch, just sort of use that for accessories for my Zune. Down here, all my boxes, just everything. You've got the PSA one right there. Uh, Canon Rebel T2i, you've got a verbatim one down there, you've got Simplism, you've got Griffin, all kinds of stuff. And the battery charger and connectors right here. Uh, I've got to do the under part uh, right here, just some drawers full of stationery, more stationery whole ton of cables. Uh, here we have my camera bag, Lower Pro Stealth Reporter uh, D100. We have the, I have no idea what that is, a case for my laptop, I don't know the exact model. 
we have my desktop computer. On the other side of my desktop computer, you can see the subwoofer for the Z4 speaker system. Um, uh, just a whole ton of wires, okay? I don't really want to go too in-depth about behind here because it's not very clean. But, you know, all my wires are down there and that's just under my desk, so I never really see it that much. And here are just two trash cans just, you know, under my desk. So, um, yeah, this has basically been my desk tour. Uh, Lucas, Carson, and uh, Brandon should do theirs soon. If not, they have a perfectly good reason why. But, um, yeah, this has been one of our number one most requested videos on YouTube. So, it's good to get it get it out of the way. I did mention earlier that I will be going to England in about a week for about a month. And uh, I will try and keep up on Omni Tech News videos. But it's going to be kind of difficult as I will be going all over the country, but I will try my absolute best to make sure you're informed. I'm going to be taking along some product reviews and I'm going to be doing some reviews on the plane and actually uh, when I get there, so we'll, hopefully you'll be seeing some cool reviews. So this has been Robert Clark from OmniTechNews.net giving you my desk tour. Lucas Carson, Brandon will be doing there soon. Thanks for watching.